Hi, in this episode I want to show you how you can clone a doc config via the PDF Butter CLI. So that's our command line tool. In our example, we're going to export a doc config from a Salesforce org and we're going to import it in another Salesforce org. Obviously, you can just import it, a clone it into your own uh, Salesforce org. So you can just have a clone over there. So if you want to duplicate or restart or use a certain doc config and build on top of that for another functionality, but you can also clone it into another org. And that's the most interesting thing because maybe you are an ISV and in your package you want to provide out of the box uh, documents for your customers and you can just say okay I'm gonna build this on a uh, separate org that I manage and then I'm gonna clone that into my customers org. So um, let's get started. First of all I want to show you the uh, npm uh, page that we, uh, that we have. In our npm page there is obviously documentation on the clone feature just search for the clone feature over here and then there is an example with the statement over here and you can see that the minus c actually indicates the clone so that's the clone part over here cool let's get started uh, i have a doc uh, an environment an org and i have here already uh, a quote but this is not the environment i'm gonna get my uh, document from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, Visual Studio and I have my terminal over here and in my terminal I'm first going to export a doc config. So in my export my command over here you can see the uh, doc config that I want to fetch from my YouTube 2 uh, org and you can see that here I am on my YouTube 3 org. So uh, it's a different org I want to fetch it from. And then uh, obviously uh, where I want to store it, the stage I want to uh, retrieve it from, and also which environment, PDF Butter environment region I want to uh, fetch it from. So this is important because obviously your org is linked to a certain region. Uh, then of course my credentials to log into uh, PDF Butler. I want to indicate that I want it unzipped and I would like to see some extra logging because it's just cool to see. Let's run this. Just will take a few seconds and then uh, it will export my doc config and store it locally. You already saw that the uh, Butler drive uh, folder came here with the doc configs. That's the folder that I indicated to store over here. And now I have indeed my doc config. All of my uh, documents are right here. And you can see that uh, all of my alternatives and documents are also stored. Config types, data sources, everything that I want. Cool. Next stop is we're going to import it to another org, to my YouTube 3 org. To import my doc config, I'm going to use this command over here. So this is uh, all that I need to uh, import the doc config. And then, of course, the most important part here is the minus C um, that I need to indicate to clone the doc config. So let's take a look i have my uh, statement over here so i'm gonna do my import um, this is the uh, username that i want to use the uh, doc config that i want to clone so uh, you can provide a list of doc configs here as you can read in the documentation the folder from which i want to retrieve the doc config so that's the same folder where i stored it earlier as you can see the region that i want to uh, clone it to so if your other org is uh, linked in another region like us1 or apac1 no problem just change the region over here as you uh, saw in the introduction you can just clone to another region as well if your org is linked to it and then obviously the credentials for pdf butler and then the stage that i want to uh, store it in last but not least the minus c to clone it and i want to see some extra log files please cool let's take a look i'm gonna click here and then uh, see my import going on okay that's already done went very fast uh, let's take a look at my doc configs now. Here, if I refresh this one, you would see that um, a new one appeared. That's the one over here. Uh, this is a new doc config. And if I open this doc config, you would see uh, everything is there. The data sources are imported. And if I open it here in the 
configuration page you would see that it has the documents that i uh, that i had it has all the configurations that i used to have so everything that i expect is right here